Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here, bringing you another video from uh, another international border in Israel. If you didn't think borders were interesting before, perhaps subscribing to me on YouTube, I hope I'm slowly changing your mind. Borders are the fault lines between countries, the tectonic plates. And in this part of the world, in Israel, they're not just separating between countries, they're separating between completely different ideologies. And in this case, the border here I'm in front of, which is the Israel-Lebanon border, or technically the blue line, I'll get into that, um, is the is the dividing line between two countries which are officially at a state of war. So where I am today, specifically according to Google Maps, there is 87 meters between where I'm standing and Lebanon. That village you can see behind me in the distance is the village of Kvar Kila, which is immediately uh, abutting Matula. And uh, we just visited a really interesting memorial here. It's called uh, the Andernet Geder Hatov. Geder Hatov in, Isra in Hebrew means the good fence. And basically this is a memorial to Maronite Christian fighters who were fighting effectively alongside or on behalf of the IDF between 1982 and 2000 during Israel's protracted operation to ensure a security buffer in uh, southern Lebanon. Geder Hatov, as I said in Hebrew, technically just means good fence, but it's it's a nickname for the official uh, border crossing was called the Fatima Gate. And this was basically where the Fatima Gate was. As I mentioned, this is about 80 meters before the border and those houses, there's one here about 50 meters away. You can see a mosque. These are all in Kvarkila. Kvarkila, just to emphasize how close all this stuff is, is a Hezbollah stronghold with a Hezbollah army base, at least 20 arms depots. And when the IDF uncovered a couple of years ago attempts by Hezbollah to dig under uh, the border in order to uh, plan their very, very elaborate operation to have a land invasion into these uh, border towns in Israel, one of the, the tunnels was found and entering Israel very, very close um, to where I'm standing. So the border was called Fatima Gate because Israel from 1977 until 2000 had a de facto policy, a soft policy of allowing Maronite Christians to come into Israel for various good things. That's why it was called the good fence to kind of, I guess, uh, conjure up the idea of goodwill. At one point, one third of the patients in the nearest hospital here, in the ophthalmology department, were Lebanese people. They used to be able to come through the border freely in order to work in Israel, in order to access medical treatment in Israel, um, and then return back into Lebanon. And also, I mentioned the border briefly. I'm going to just mention the technicalities. People get very fussy about this word. For me, a border is a dividing line between two countries, but technically an international border to be worthy of the term has to sort of be agreed uh, between the two countries on the other side of the border. So what you have between Israel and Lebanon is more like a demarcation line based on where Israel uh, withdrew to following its, following its withdrawal out of Lebanon and now an international organization, UNIFIL, uh, the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon are, are responsible for sort of enforcing the separation along this, what's called the blue line, and is literally marked out by uh, blue cylinders. As I mentioned in uh, my last video at night time, Hezbollah are now using, their latest technique is using uh, little laser pointers to attempt to blind drivers on the Israeli side of the border, put lasers into their house and potentially cause it, it sounds like a trivial thing, but actually has the potential to, call, to cause lifelong um, eyesight damage, including potentially all the way up to blindness. So this is Kfar Kila. On the other side here is uh, the beautiful town of Matula, which, as I mentioned, is the northernmost community in Israel, surrounded on all sides uh, by Lebanon. Um, and over there in the backdrop, again, is the fantastic, beautiful view, which I'll include a few seconds of in this video, of the Hermon covered in snow, Israel's only uh, sea resort, a ski resort, and also uh, shared with Syria. Uh, Hageda Hatov was sort of the nickname for it. It was officially called Shah Fatima. It was an exception to... The, the otherwise rule that there really is no uh, border crossings, regular border crossings between Israel and Lebanon. And in the year 2000, uh, when Israel uh, concluded its withdrawal from South Lebanon and uh, UNIFIL, the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, which whose mandate is to create a buffer in this part of Lebanon, Israel, whereby the IDF doesn't come north of the blue line, Hezbollah doesn't operate uh, to the south of the blue line, although uh, their success in that mandate really, really should be drawn into question after a number of tunnels 
been operated by Hezbollah were discovered literally where they're supposed to be. But uh, this is uh, exactly uh, where we are and how close the uh, two countries are at this point. And as I mentioned, although it's a beautiful countryside here, uh, the Hermon, the, the lovely village of Matula, this is very much a border with uh, constant activity going on. I hope this video uh, taken uh, less than 100 meters from the Israel-Lebanon border, uh, the village of Kfar Kila abutting the Israeli border community of Matula has been interesting. Perhaps a little bit of my interest in borders has rubbed off on you. If you would like to get more videos uh, from interesting things going on in my locality around Jerusalem and elsewhere in Israel in interesting places like Matula and I get a tov, do please consider uh, subscribing to this YouTube channel where I will try to uh, upload and publish uh, new video content as soon as I can. And of course, thank you for watching.